Today I'm going to make a video deleting the coolant ball out of my Mark IV GTI 1.8T. You can only find one other video on YouTube doing this. The things you're going to need are this one and one quarter to one and one quarter coolant filler neck with a 19 to 21 pound radiator cap. And then I got all new aluminum flanges and fittings for my coolant system because I still have the stock ones in my car that are 16 years old and very brittle. Also, you're going to need some vacuum caps just from the auto parts store, just buy assorted vacuum caps. I'm going to put a hose clamp on these too so they don't come off. First thing you want to do is take this cap off to depressurize the system. Then you're going to want to come under the car. And I'm not going to try to film it, but you have to twist the knob in the back of the radiator to get rid of all the fluid. Next, you're going to want to take out this piece. This is the upper radiator hose. Right here, just a couple clamps with pliers, and it'll come right off. And then this is going to be installed right here. And I don't have enough hands to film it and do it, so I will, I will show you after it's done. Got it all assembled like this with the new coolant flange thing, the filler thing, two hose clamps, and then this is the upper radiator hose. Cut this piece out of it, but you have to flip these or it won't fit on this one and one quarter thing. But if you buy this in one and an eighth inch or one inch, I'm sure it would work better than one and a quarter. I was just told one and a quarter, but it's too big. Got the upper radiator hose reinstalled. Pretty easy. Put this back on the bottom. Cap that off. Put the hose back. Next is this plastic flange. I already took out the sensor. I think it's a 10 mil to get it off, just two nuts. I will show you when it's off. Just cut that main flange piece out. Trusty old one, 16 year old. Brand new one. This O ring's all squished, but I don't think it was leaking. But I have a new gasket here somewhere. That new aluminum flange is put in. Got the gasket in. This is all done. This hose is going to leak. It's all assembled, clamps are on everything. Next is the coolant ball itself. It's just a Phillips here, a Phillips here. There's this hose on top, and then there's a hose on the bottom. And then there's usually a connector here, but I don't have it. That piece is in there. I turned it down so that you can't see as much. The ball is gone. All of the stuff is gone right here. I've already gone through the wiring and cleaned the wiring up. Got rid of the wiper reservoir. Next thing I'm going to move is the power steering under that a different day. And then this will be gone. I need to cut these out and get rid of those. And this rail right here, I can take out now, but I don't know if I'm doing that today. And I got a clamp on that, just so everyone knows. And I also have this flange for the thermostat, but I don't want to remove the alternator to do it. So I'm not going to install this today. After the coolant ball comes out, right here, Next, we are going to remove this piece because we have this new one, and then this needs a cap on it with a clamp because this went to the bottom of the ball. And then there was a hose that came off of this one that went to the top of the ball. This is everything that ended up coming out, quite a bit of stuff. And I haven't filled it up with coolant yet to see if it has any leaks, but this is what you use. And you mix it one to one with water. And that's it. Then you start your car and bleed the system. I'm sure if you're doing this, you already know how to do that. Oh, yeah. Bleeding the coolant system. We're getting there. Waiting for the thermostat to open. It should open any second. One last thing I forgot to mention is this overflow. I just have it going to the ground right here with old hose but I need to get a reservoir I'm going to order one right now I don't know where I'm gonna mount it yet but 
that's a thing you need also.